good morning good afternoon good evening depending on when you are gonna see this my video you are welcome back to my channel my name is my team chikaze and if you're just coming across my channel for the first time please do well to subscribe click on that notification bell uh, so that you get notified anytime I miss I post a video because you wouldn't want to miss my video in this channel you are gonna learn one or two from it and even if it's not what you want or like definitely someone around you will definitely will learn one or two from it so today I'm gonna bring you good news are you planning to go into Switzerland? Are you going for a work visa? Or what? I'm gonna take you all through those things. So if you're planning to go into Switzerland for a work or um, with a work visa process, I'm gonna take you all through it. So I'm gonna give you a complete guide for foreigners. First of all, I'll, these are my content or these are the things I'm gonna take you through in this particular video. So I want you to stay back and watch till the end because you will definitely learn or know someone that will have or learn something from this video so let's go into it immediately so i am going to take you through on um, the eligibility criteria for the switzerland work visa i'm going to take you through to um how to apply the work requirements the application processes who is exempted from this application and types of the residency permits you will like to get from this particular work visa so i urge you do not go anywhere click on that subscribe button so that next time i post a video you will come back to watch it i'm not gonna bore you guys so let's go into it immediately so like we all know switzerland is located in the central europe so if you're planning to come into it or you have someone that is planning to come into it that's why i say stay stay, stay back and watch my video because definitely you're gonna learn from it so like i said one of the eligibilities for this particular work visa but it's it, it's not really different from any other work visa so if you have been watching my videos or if yeah i you can go down check my videos because you will definitely learn from these things that I'm going to say or you will definitely have a knowledge of it in case you have someone that is applying or someone that is planning to come into any country so these are one of the criteria or Switzerland in particular so these are one of the criteria you will have to meet up so that you'll be able to have access to those things so for all foreigners belonging to non-EU and EEU countries they have to meet all this following criteria so even a country that are not into um that they don't belong to non-eu that's the european union or eeu countries we have to follow these processes and the eligibility to get there so one of those eligibility is if you hold a university degree definitely if you are coming in as a skill worker depending on the type of skill you are coming in for you have to hold the university degree or then you have to be eligible for this work visa with any of those degrees so secondly if you are an expertise in fields and work experience then you are eligible for a work visa so this expertise when they say expertise is like maybe if you are a mechanic or a plumber they're looking for a plumber or they're, they're looking for a mechanic or maybe some of these skills that or a driver even some of these skills they need expertise in you are eligible for it so another one is if you are designated as a manager specialist you are eligible to apply for a switzerland work visa and, and in the case of no eu an EFTA citizen is present to perform the job in Switzerland then employers can hire from other international countries so if you are eligible for this definitely you can apply for it so let's go through another process so that's the criteria for the Switzerland work visa so the second one is how to apply for it 
So how to apply for this work visa is just as simple as maybe it's not something that is really complicated as far as you are following the whole processes, as far as you are following whatever they want these are very simple these things are very simple and easy to apply and you have to get to the swiss embassy personally you don't have to do it online you have to locate a swiss embassy and um, within your home your home country to do that so you don't have to apply online because it <laughs> that doesn't show that maybe you are it will really give you that um, it, it won't really show that you are interested or you you are serious with whatever you want so you have to get locate a swiss um embassy around you so one of those things are you find a job in switzerland definitely if you are planning to go into switzerland and you are planning to go in with a work visa you have to get a job in switzerland and after completing the documentation of the swiss work visa then the employer will send you or will apply for a residence permit on your behalf and this is what you are going to come in with because you are going to work for this employer so it is the duty of the employer to apply for this for you so that you will be able to come in and after you have gotten that residency permit the final step for you to do is to apply for a work visa to any nearby Swiss embassy or consulate like I said these are one of those criteria you have to follow or one of those things you have to follow to apply or to get a job in the Switzerland so you have to follow all these things find a job first complete the documentation and after you have gotten a job the, the employer will send and um, will you will um, apply for a residence permit on your behalf and then after you have gotten the residence permit then you apply for a work visa to any a nearby Swiss embassy or consulate so the Switzerland work visa requirements are one three signed and a completed application forms for a long stay visa you have to download it online in any language including english german french italian and spanish so these are the ones that you can download so if you are you speak english then you download it in english because definitely you're not going to speak english and go and download it in Ital italian language because you're not going to understand it so one of the work visa requirements again is a valid passport containing two blank pages Another one is three copies of passport pages, copies of all previous visas, four passport size photographs, job contracts, and two copies of it. You must prove your professional activities and copies of diplomas and certificates if you have any. Details of qualification and the days you attended the colleges or university that you attended and definitely a CV. So these things are the steps you have to follow to make an application and these are the steps you have to follow to get um, the job. So these ones I just mentioned now are the work requirements. So if you are coming in through um, and you have a qualification, maybe you have a bachelor's degree in your own country or you have a degree in any course. So these are the things you have to use and apply and it's an added advantage especially if it's not a visa that needs expertise or expertise rather so we're gonna go into application process so the first application process is for you to obtain a residence permit which your employer is responsible to apply for on your behalf as the local container employment service in Switzerland so when you get a residency permit, when your employer tells you that, okay, you have qualified for a residency permit, so you have to apply for this or you have to go get that, apply for it on your behalf. So another step is your application is then reviewed by the local continent. So after the whole process of the application, when your, your, your employer have already applied for a residency permit and you have been granted, so the home office, which is the federal immigration office will have to go through it to confirm if those things are correct like your age like the skills the language you speak and other factors are put into evaluation other factors are always put into consideration so 
another one is during this process you have to apply for a swiss work visa from your home country so definitely you have to apply for it those are the criteria those are the stuff i mentioned earlier so in case you did not get it you can watch the video over and over again so that you get the whole thing so the other second the another one is once you are approved by the federal office of immigration that's the fom then the notification of your approval is sent to your continental office and embassy upon which you are general of from which you are granted a work visa so by the time these things have been approved you have checked all those things your age and it tallies with what you saw you are going to submit and your language your skills and everything it tallies then they are going to send they are going to send this to your home office that embassy so that they will be able to give you the visa to grant you the visa so upon your arrival in the Switzerland, you have to register yourself at the residency, sorry, the residence registry office within 14 days of arrival. Yeah, this takes me to when I arrived the UK the first time. So it was within 14 days we had to go to the home office to get our residency permit card. And that is what enables us to stay for the period of one year. And after that, you are going to renew it if you are going to stay back in the country so you can apply in the office again to renew this particular um, residence permit so the people that are exempted from this switzerland work visas are the Schengen, Schengen um countries the Andorras, the brunei great britain ireland japan new zealand san marino singapore singapore and vatican City. so if you are in any of these countries you are exempted from applying for this particular um work visa because you can go into the country stay for a period of three months and then after the period of three months elapses then you can now apply for it you are yeah you are free to move in that country and then that that you have access to everything in that country for the period of three months then you can now apply for a, an adequate permit to stay. So the types of visas or the type of residency permits for the Switzerland work visas are one, permit L for short-term residence, permit B for temporary initial residence, and permit C for permanent residence. I'm going to take you through all this. So for the permit L, this allows you work for a specific employer for up to a year. For the permit B, this allow you work for a for one year for the specific specific employer, maybe the employer that granted you the permit or gave you that work visa. You are allowed to work for a period of one year, but if you stay for more than ten years on this visa, that's for the permit B. You are eligible to apply for permit C, which permit C is the permanent residency visa. So the permit C now is. It visa that allows you to work for any employer you are bound to a specific you are not bound to a specific employer or company so you can work for anywhere you can switch to any work or you can just move house or you, you can move to any residence of your choice so that's after you have stayed for a period of 10 years in the country so these are the things that maybe you need to follow to get eligible or to get work in this country the switzerland country so i know some of you are excited and some of you are hoping to move from your own country to one of these countries either on switzerland uk i do that you can watch my videos for all those informations this is what we do in this channel so please subscribe and let me know in the comment section what you think about it if you have any query or any question just let me know in the comment section down below so subscribe turn on your notification bell so that anytime i post a video you will be notified you wouldn't want to miss my video it's going to help you and it's going to enlighten you on some of these things that you need to know before you apply for any job in any country and it's going to take you through the processes so that it will be easier for you and maybe you will not make mistakes. So, but another thing is that you have to make research for yourself. You have to go through it, make research, know what you want and how you want to handle it. But this definitely is going to help you. So I'm going to see you in my next video, guys. My name remains my team, Chikazeng, and I'm still your girl. You're welcome back to my channel. Have a lovely day and see you later in my next video.